Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Tommy Oris. I know it's been a while and um, it's been a while when I've uh, uploaded a video and um, yeah, but I am back um, and I'm gonna be uploading a new video now every Thursday and um, yeah, so right before I start, I just wanna introduce myself. So as I said, my name is Tommy Oris and I'm an author. Um, I will be publishing my first book very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. For more, for more information, please go to my website. It's womanprayer.com. I also have a ministry page on Instagram. It's called Woman Prayer Ministries. And my main page on Instagram is Tommy Oris. Um, so if you would like to connect with me, you can go either on Instagram or you can also um, go on my website to find more details and more information about my ministry and what I do. So yeah, uh, let me start with my message. I'm so excited to share it with all of you and to really share with you what God has been spoken to me recently. So let me just share something with you and I hope you will be encouraged by that message. God has a great plan for all of us. He has a plan to give us prosperity, not to harm us, but to give us a hope and a future, as it is in Jer Jeremiah 29, 11. And I want to encourage you today that whatever plans you have or whatever goals you want to achieve, always go back to God and pray to your Heavenly Father if that's also His plan for your life. You know, sometimes, and it's very common now in our society, that, you know, you have to have a vision in life, you have to have a plan, you know, and I know that every one of us um, has something in their life what they want to achieve and you know um with you know which is not wrong but the point i'm trying to make is here that it has to be in alignment with god you whatever you're chasing after whatever you're focusing on your your vision it has to come from god it has to be a god's given vision not your own created vision because I can truly tell you that if it's just about what you want on this earth and just what you desire, then I can tell you that this is not the right way. You know, God has created you for a purpose and you are here for a reason to do God's will, but not to do your own will. And I really think I need to address that further because some people think that whatever they want in life, whatever they desire, they can have it, they can manifest it. And that is wrong. We cannot thrive after our own desire but we have to put him first in psalm i believe it's 37 5 it says delight yourself also in the lord and he shall give you the heart desires he shall give you your heart desires so you have to go to god first you have to delight in him which basically means um find true satisfaction find the true happiness and true satisfaction in him and then he will give you your heart desires and i also have to um tell you at that point that he's not gonna give you sometimes god is not gonna give you all your heart desires and i, I believe you know people need to hear that because they really think that okay if i put god first and he will give me everything i want and that's not the case. Your Heavenly Father knows what you need. And trust me, He will give you what you need. Because He's not a, a God who 
doesn't want to give you good things. In fact, he wants to bless you, but he doesn't want to give you things which are not meant to be for you, you know, so you have to trust him. You have to trust God's will, God's plan for your life. So before I end this message, I just, I just want to tell you, please don't try to manifest your goals and your visions by yourself. Go back to God. You can manifest in a right way by going back to God and asking him what's his will for your life. You know, God can give you visions. God can give you dreams and then he can guide you to, to go after them. But it's very important that you always stay in constant communication and connection with God so you know what's your plan for your life. Don't believe in false teaching in the society where they say that you can manifest anything in your life if you just speak it out by saying affirmations that whatever you want, you can, you can achieve it because you, know, you just need to speak it. You have your own power. You can speak it out loud and whatever you want, it will come to pass. Please don't believe in those lies. God will give you your heart desires, but sometimes he will not give you what you think or what you want. So I hope this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And I will pray for each and everyone who's watching right now that you will de develop this spiritual discernment and be constantly spiritual alert and aware so that you will discern right from wrong. Be encouraged and be blessed and stay always connected to God. He loves you so much and he wants only the best for you. But you have to trust him. You have to trust him even if you don't understand. You have to trust him with your whole heart at all times and he will lead you to the right path. Stay blessed, stay encouraged. Until next time. Bye.